Our goal, Jameson, here for your health. Time check, courtesy alive by Nature's Way. Distributed by H&J Enterprises Limited. Welcome, you're watching the 7 o'clock news here on CNC3. I'm Ryan Beidshu. I'm Pavita Kapol. Chan Rhea Ramli has the evening off. I am Jassy Marik with Sport. And I'm Kalei Hussain with your weather. Let's tell you what's making the news tonight. The police commissioner confirms self-professed spy Ian Brown is no longer a special reserve police officer. DNA results are still pending on skeletal remains found a week ago from the Matura family's South Valsain home. What was the easiest? It is over after a hectic year of preparations. The secondary entrance assessment is now consigned to memory for the nation's students. Coming up in sport, Red Force and Barbados Pride evenly poised moving into day three of their CWI Championship clash at the Queen's Park Oval. More hot temperatures are forecast as we head into the weekend, but could we see some isolated showers? We'll have those details in our weather forecast. Top of the news tonight, former independent Senator David Small, who won a $20 million judgment against Nikon last year, has filed a petition through his attorney, Anan Ram Logan, to wind up the company. That's right, Ryan. Nikon breached the court order not to pay him following his legal victory. However, if Small is successful, local and regional investors stand to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. CNC3 News understands that other investors are trying to block the wind-up petition, despite Nikon's debt estimated at U.S. $300 million. The company remains closed following the death of 35-year-old pipe fitter Alan Lane Ramkisun at the plant in June 2023. In addition to not having permission from the Energy Ministry to operate the plant, Nikon lost its natural gas contract because it owed the state U.S. $22 million. The self-professed spy who was hired as a special reserve police officer for the Strategic Service Agency is no longer a member of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Pastor Ian Brown was appointed an SRP on the request of then head of the SSA, Major Roger Best, who is now on administrative leave as police investigate the running of the top intelligence gathering agency. At today's police media briefing, Police Commissioner Earlier here with Christopher gave an update on the SSA probe saying that the investigations are ongoing and would prefer not to speak on it. As about Brown's status as a police officer, the top cop said he was removed. Mr. Brown is no longer a special reserve officer. He was, his appointment was requested by the SSA. He no longer being a member of the SSA, there's no longer any reason for him to maintain his status as a special reserve officer. The police commissioner said Brown's removal as a police officer happened on Tuesday. Now, head of the Homicide Bureau of Investigation, Senior Superintendent Rishi Singh said, while his officers are investigating three murders, including that of the spouse of SSA Deputy Director Joan Daniel, he could not link the killings to the SSA investigation. Meanwhile, head of the Homicide Bureau, Senior Superintendent Rishi Singh says, the investigation into the skeletal remains found at Buried at a Valsane home is ongoing. Singh tells CNC3 News that DNA testing to to confirm the identity of the remains believed to be that of Hannah Matura is still pending. Jensen Levent has this story. As the country sits on the edge of their proverbial seats awaiting the outcome of the police investigations into the discovery of skeletal remains at the Valsane home last week, police today say the investigations are ongoing and an update will be made soon. I will say that the inquiry is ongoing, Mr. McBurney. I will also add that the DNA results are not yet available. The officers returned one day after a couple were released from custody in relation to the discovery. Andrew Matura was held at his brother's house in Tunapuna one day after the remains were found. His wife was also arrested that day. It's just after 12 o'clock and we're here on Butu Road, Valsane, outside the residence of the Maturas, where the skeletal remains of a human was found last week, Tuesday. Since CNC3 has been here, we have seen at least five vehicles pass, slowed as they reach the house, and drive off, a common thread since the discovery. Police officers returned yesterday with an excavator and cadaver dogs, but left empty-handed. As members of the Our Lady of Fatima Church in Curep, the Matura family will remember during today's weekly service. 
parish priest Father Arnold Francis told the congregation that some of them may have been inclined to believe the reports about Andrew, who he says is not himself. Father Francis said he recalled Andrew wanting one of his daughters to be confirmed in the faith and the baptism of his children separate from others, a request he said that was denied. With all that's been happening with the Matura family since the discovery of skeletal remains at their Butu Road Valsain home, parish priest of Our Lady of Fatima here in Curep is calling on the citizens to pray for the family. Jensen Lavend, CNC3 News, Curep. All right, thank you very much, Jensen. Appreciate your reporting on this story. Singh did not want to confirm or deny whether or, whether or not relatives who live in the compound were also being investigated, instead saying only that the investigations are ongoing. It was an incident-free day for 18,246 students who wrote the essay exam today. Confirmation this afternoon from the Minister of Education. In a statement, Education Minister Dr. Nian Gatsby Dolly says she's satisfied with how the exam was administered and the security measures that were in place. From teachers and school supervisors to janitors and security officers, Dr. Gatsby Dolly says they've all done their best. There are 548 essay centers across the country with 9,170 male students and 9,076 female students. The ministry notes that the SEA results will be available during the first week of July. And students who are unable to write the exam today will be given a supplementary exam on Thursday, April 18th. From anxiety to relief, that's how students of the Gloucester Lodge Moravian Primary School feel now that SCA exam is finally over. Almost three weeks ago, you'd remember a man was shot dead outside of the school, raising concerns among parents and staff about how the incident would affect SEA students. However, as we hear in this report by Kimberly Fletcher, there's anxiety among students, but it's not over the safety. One month ago, students of the Gloucester Lodge Moravian Primary School were left traumatized after 50-year-old Amoy Howie was shot dead right outside the school. A month later, dozens of these students had the SC examination. And while some students are still affected by the issue, many parents say this is simply the norm. And this is not the first time. The mere children are coming here. They tell many other incidents, yes, but it happened more in the night. Now they're getting brave in the daytime. So that's the kind of thing kind of you have to be concerned about. I'm sorry to put it that way, but it's a regular thing. You know, well, there was the talk at the tongue because, you know, it happened right outside of the school. But it didn't really affect our performance, at least that I could see. Some pupils told CNC3 News that they are accustomed to hearing gunshots in the neighborhood. But on Thursday, they blocked out all the noise to focus on their SE examination. The biggest challenge of the day? While the easiest? CNC3 News visited several other schools in the capital city on Thursday, and many parents and students told us they are relieved that the examination is finally over. I feel very relieved because it was a lot of hard work and it wasn't an easy journey, but it's not the end of my journey, but just a chapter that I have to close. Well, I feel relieved. Of course, excited for him to go into his new school, you know, to journey on to life. I'm happy for him. He also said the exam. How was the exam? Easy. Parents and teachers also told CNC3 News they are grateful that there were no discrepancies in this year's examination papers. K. Mary Fletcher, CNC3 News. And police were on guard in South Trinidad as thousands of students wrote the SEA exam this morning. Some parents even camped outside of several schools during the exams, praying for all to go well for their children. And those prayers clearly worked since there were no hiccups. Cameraman Ivan Tulsi and Radhika De Silva report. To mark the start of new opportunities and achievement, SEA students across South Trinidad celebrated on Thursday, some with gifts others with tears of happiness. At the San Fernando TML Primary School, one of the country's top achievers, students shared their journey as they paid a tribute to their teachers and a principal. I managed to juggle everything by having a bit of time for myself, like uh, 30 minutes or uh, 15 minutes or 30 minutes for myself. And after that, I would go and just like review everything, uh, everything we did so far. And some eagerly looked forward for rewards. To go to Disneyland. 
and students of Peparo Presbyterian School shared reflections on the exams. Maths for sure, I know that maths. Any particular question? I think it was number 40 in the section 3 and 39. ELE gave me some problems but I pulled through and I actually finished every single question. At the St. Gabriel's Girls RC School, parents were confident of success, praying while the examinations went on. At the 72 Presbyterian schools across the country, Chairman Vikram Ramlal declared success in how the exams were executed. Some of our schools got an additional security officer, which has in no way hampered the examination in our 72 schools. Ramlal says while the SE examination is tedious, it should not be abolished, noting that continuous assessments should be utilized as well. Radikadi Silva, CNC3 News. Now it is on to what, two, three months of sort of vacation? Bavita, what did you spend that time doing? Definitely catching up on all the movies I used to watch. and I played a lot of sports. I was very rarely inside. <laughs> All right, well, and some parents continue to call for a less stressful method of assessment for pupils to transition to secondary schools. Here's tonight's People Say. The People Say, brought to you by Excel Health TT, the official supplement of the CPL. So having gone through the process, the SCA does have its advantages in the sense that the child becomes a disciplined person and it prepares the child for life and for the stress that life has to follow. I think they should um, change the system and give the kids a more convenient, less stressful um, system for them. It's, it's a bit too stressful for children at that age, that tender age. I think it should be a continuous assessment at least from standard three to five and not a one day one test determination of they going forward into secondary school. I think the, it, this level of stress they have to go through to reach at this point, it's a lot for the little minds. I think that should be coming from like at least standard one coming up and assessment be going little by little by little until it's, they can finally get a grade. I think it should be abolished. It's one, it's a lot of peer pressure on, on kids for this one day, leading up to this one day, should be a continued assessment. The People Say, brought to you by Excel Health TT, the official supplement of the CPL. Some interesting views there. Let's tell you what's still to come in the news tonight. Calls for criminal justice system to be reformed coming out of UE's crime symposium. Coming up in sport, high expectations being placed on this year's Crypto Games team. We hear what the coaches predict. Mealtime rules. Don't serve yourself first. Do not eat with your mouth open. Don't make noise when eating. Does not apply when enjoying KFC buckets or our new Wii Deal. Get the Wii Deal for only $34.95. Republic Bank is invested in our communities with over 80 million spent on projects and programs. We're empowering entrepreneurs with free tools and resources. We're the region's largest indigenous bank, spanning 185 years, 14 countries, and 23 subsidiaries. We were the first Caribbean signatory to the United Nations principles for responsible banking. We're giving our customers greater banking convenience with state-of-the-art electronic banking solutions. We're invested in you. A visually impaired student whose dream is to enter the music industry took one step towards it today. Russell Diaz was among a special pool of students who wrote this year's secondary entrance examination. And as Jesse Ramdeo tells us, his family has always been the wind in his sails as he journeys toward excellence. In his father's embracing arms, 13-year-old Russell Diaz finds comfort and relief following Thursday's SEA examination. For all his life, it's here he's always found guidance and direction during the darkness. After doing certain tests, he was diagnosed with retina detachment and cloudy corneas. Anthony says his son's journey through the years has always been a test. After the passing of his mom, it somewhat threw him back that he crawled back into his shell. He wasn't able to talk to people. He wasn't 
didn't even want to come outside. Despite it all, he would always find solace in school. Never likes being at home. Always wants to be in school. Always, always. Whether it be him alone on the maxi or other children, rain, flood, he wants to be in school. And as his academic pursuit continues, Russell is hopeful of acing the exam. I only get to finish the, the composition and the English, but not the math. The math was too complicated. Either way, he's already gotten full marks from his father. I'm very proud to know that um, a visually, my visually impaired son was able to write the SEA exam and get an opportunity to go to a high school. Guardian Media understands that three visually impaired students wrote this year's SEA exam. Jesse Ramdeo, CNC3 News. The Northwest Regional Health Authority and the Health Minister firing back at statements made by Chair of the Cancer Society, Dr. Asante Leblanc, at yesterday's JSC Social Services and Public Administration meeting. Dr. Leblanc told the committee there was always a shortage of breast and prostate cancer drugs in the public health care system. She also said while the newer drugs have been approved, they are not available in the public health care system, only the antiquated versions. She added that patients can only access the newest versions privately. Now, this claim is being strongly refused by the health ministry, which says there are no shortages of oncolo oncology drugs in TNT. The NWRHA is reinforcing its commitment to providing the highest standards of cancer care and quotes Dr. Kelly Allen Mike, the medical director of the National Cancer Care Center, who says TNT has a robust system in place to provide WHO recommended essential drugs and says to suggest patients are given antiquated drugs is simply misleading. Leading. Dr. Leblanc has since responded, saying her statements were misconstrued in the article headlined Cancer Danger in a Daily Newspaper. She apologizes for the perceived attack on the public health care system and the minister and says the reporting did not convey her nuanced opinion on this matter. Many years after it was first proposed and agreed, merger of TNT Mortgage Finance and the Home Mortgage Bank have officially been finalized. Meanwhile, Massey Wood has secured a five-year framework agreement with Shell TNT for the delivery of engineering projects and asset support. Angela Perez-Sobers shares the details in tonight's Business Watch. Business Watch, brought to you by Endcash. Scan, pay, done. The merger between TNT Mortgage Finance and the Home Mortgage Bank has become a reality with the new company TNT Mortgage Bank. The merger was officially completed on January 17, 2024, with the TTMF buying 100% of the shares of HMB from the National Insurance Board. Finance Minister Colm Imbert outlines that the collaboration between the TTMF and the HMB began in 2017, and since then, they have provided $3.4 billion in home acquisition and improvement loans. Today's merger of the TTMF and the HMB will ensure that increasing number of families, like those who will eventually occupy Citrus Close in on the Eastern Main Road in Kaura have access to secure and affordable funding in ways that perhaps their parents and their grandparents never did. Also speaking at the launch was TTMB Chairman Patrick Ferreira, who says the merger affords the opportunity to funding at lower rates that will improve its mortgage pricing. In the last five years alone, TTMF and HMB provided home acquisition and improvement loans in the amount of $3.4 billion. Of that amount, $2.2 billion was issued under the Affordable Housing Program. Our secondary market operations continued with sale of mortgages, TTMF to HMB in the amount of $888 million. The launch was held on Wednesday night at the Hyatt Regency Hotel.
Engineering projects and asset support have been secured through a five-year agreement between Massey Wood and Shell TNT. Massey Wood is a joint venture entity of Wood, a Houston-based global leader in consulting and engineering. In a statement, Wood explained this agreement will support Shell's onshore and offshore assets, providing a suite of services. This includes turnaround support for their mature brownfield assets and supporting new greenfield projects. Steve Nicole, Executive President of Operations at Woods, notes that this agreement is a strategic achievement for its team in Trinidad, solidifying Massey Wood as the front runner of asset integrity in the region. And now for a look at today's energy and forex prices. Andrea Perez Sobers, CNC3 Business Watch. Brought to you by End Cash. Scan, pay, done. As we head to this break, let's check in with Colleen to see what's coming up in the weather next. Another hot and sunny day across Trinidad and Tobago as we progress through the driest month of the dry season, March. Not a lot of rainfall across Trinidad and Tobago today. We had some low-level cloud patches staying out in the Atlantic. Some cloudiness developing along western coastal areas of both Trinidad and Tobago today with maximum high temperatures coming in anywhere between 33 and 37 degrees Celsius across the country. Quite a hot day today. And we'll see more hot temperatures as we head through the weekend. I'll have those details just after the break. Bumper to bumper traffic I am here and I will definitely be late because I still have to pass by the ATM to get cash for you. So see, no, no, no. Don't put you on that. You can pay with NCash. So just come straight, yeah. NCash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use NCash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on NCash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Download the app and create your wallet today. On the outside, many of us look healthy, but there could be trouble brewing inside. High levels of bad cholesterol can lead to heart disease, a leading cause of death in Trinidad and Tobago. Reduce your risk with a balanced diet, regular exercise, and Jameson's Omega 369 so you can be in good shape inside and out. Jameson Omega 369, clinically proven to reduce cholesterol. Mealtime Rules Don't serve yourself first Do not eat with your mouth open Don't make noise when eating Does not apply when enjoying KFC Buckets or our new Wee Deal Get the Wee Deal for only $34.95 Fellow citizens, our constitution is a supreme law that safeguards our rights and provides rules for the functioning of government and those in authority. Serving the needs of the public and improving the quality of life of citizens begins with the country's constitution. The constitution should guarantee accountability in governance and public service efficiency to us, the people. The National Advisory Committee on Constitutional Reform wants to hear from you on possible improvements to our Constitution. Read the Constitution on the website and submit recommendations by April 15th to constitutionalreform2024.gov.tt. Need a new right now? Get pre-qualified for a vehicle loan at AnswerBank.com and win 0% interest for one year. Walk into Answer Bank's Road Ready event on Saturday, 13th April 2024. Sense of Excellence McCoya from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to choose your brand new ride. Get access to multiple dealerships on site. Get pre-qualified at AnswerBank.com. Terms and conditions apply. Downy Unstoppables are laundry scent boosters. Add a capful before each wash and you'll be amazed. The blast of freshness that lasts and lasts. Whoa, what a blast. Even at the end of the day, you'll still be enjoying that blast of freshness in your clothes. Downy Unstoppables, the blast of freshness that lasts and lasts. Loving the flavors you get with Tedly, Tedly. Loving the flavors you get with 
Wouldn't you just love a cup of Tetley tea right now? Dark, strong British blend to give you a good morning boost. Or Tetley decaf, all of the antioxidants, none of the caffeine. Losing weight or staying healthy your thing? Try Tetley green tea. Get the vitamins to boost your health with Tetley super teas. Or calm down with Tetley chamomile. Wouldn't you just love a cup of Tetley tea right now? Tetley, a tea for everyone. Love the flavors you get with Tetley with Tetley. Distributed by Amco, a subsidiary of Ansa Macau. Total gives you a superior antibacterial protection for home health health and helps stop problems before they start. So your dentist ready. Mr. Walker. Oh, am I early? Be dentist ready with Colgate Total. Tell us about vitamin D3. Why is it important for the human body? So it's important for brain health, bone health and strength, muscle health and strength. It's important for your immune system. It's important really for overall health. Dr. Mokulan, what makes uh, vitamin XL D3 so superior to the other vitamin D3s out there? The form, so vitamin XL D3 is the most absorbable form, and then it's the right dose. Wow. Khalid, not only was it a dusty day, but it was a really hot day. Yeah, it was really hot, especially in the capital where we saw uh, maximum high temperatures range from 33 to 35, the feels like temperature up to 40 degrees Celsius. And that kind of heat is staying with us as we head into the weekend and even continuing next week, but we could see some rainfall as we head through the next couple of days. So let's go take a look at what's going on in the Atlantic. We do have a weak low level trough that is forecast to move across Trinidad and Tobago on Saturday, and that could bring the potential slow for an isolated moderate to heavy shower through the day and even into the night. But for the next day or so, mostly dry conditions across Trinidad and Tobago, some dry air throughout the entire atmosphere with Saharan dust present as well. So that means we'll be dealing with mostly dry conditions tonight into tomorrow. Some showers possible on Saturday, but the dry conditions retain as we progress towards the end of the weekend into next week. Taking a look at our air quality today with mild Saharan dust present, moderate air quality today, similar situation playing out tomorrow could see some areas of good air quality as that low level trough approaches tonight things remain mostly settled minimum lows between 22 and 25 degrees Celsius for tomorrow mostly hot and sunny as well maximum highs coming in around 34 degrees Celsius that feels like temperature getting up to 39 degrees Celsius so as you head outside walk with the water and sunscreen you'll definitely need it for those taking uh, a trip to the beach seas right now remain slight to moderate waves up to 1.5 meters in open waters and below one meter in sheltered areas no marine advisories in effect through the weekend so a great time to head to the beach to beat the heat and taking a look at the extended weather forecast while some showers possible on Saturday things remain mostly sunny and and breezy as we head into next week. I know a lot of people will be grateful for the sun tomorrow. Absolutely. It's Friday. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Kaleen. It's back to a break. We'll be right back. Is something trying to get out? Every ghost we've ever caught. An army of ghosts? Led by an unimaginable evil. Baby! We're gonna need a bigger trap. Ghostbusters. He hit me. Will CG United cover this? Don't worry. Remember when I was in that competitive arm wrestling circuit? Three-time champion, baby. I did feel bad crushing all those arms. 
tangerines. So I took them all out for ice cream. And then we got crushed. Anyway, CG United handled my claims fast. That explains the arm. The best cover for the best value. CG United. Good like that. Meantime rules. Don't serve yourself first. Do not eat with your mouth open. Don't make noise when eating. Does not apply when enjoying KFC buckets or our new Wii Deal. Get the Wii Deal for only $34.95. Get back to living with our fast acting syrups for relief. Jimmy Aboot will pay your VAT until Good Friday. Take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Aboot pays your VAT on any purchase. Chic Leisha Limited, the leading manufacturers of vermicelli. Now available pre-cut in parts and on parts in convenient package sizes. Whatever your needs, trust Chic Leisha Limited for quality products. Chic Leisha Limited, making your life easier. Ramadan Kareem from Southern Food Basket. Get goat stew $22.95 per pound, beef stew $5 pounds for $99, rabi dates $500 gram $24.95, sultanas $8.95 per pound, extra large chana $2 pounds for $18.95, split peas $5 pounds for $17.95, cocoa 2 litre 3 for $24.95, blue waters 410 ml 5 cases for $100, Mabel's ketchup 750 ml 3 for $22.95, smart buy paper towels 4 for $17.95, 95. Get the best for less at Southern Food Basket this Ramadan. Visit us at Coffee Street San Fernando, SS Erin Road Pinal, St. Charles Village Princess Town, Southern Main Road Point 14. If you could see what the future holds, you'd see that while things change, you've still got it. You are strong, resilient, inspiring, and you won't be defined by time. You'll own every minute of it because you were made for more. Discover how Alive Multivitamins by Nature's Way help you age vibrantly. Jimmy Aboot will pay your VAT until Good Friday. Take 12.5% off any item. No exceptions at our Port of Spain and Barataria locations. From now until Good Friday, Jimmy Aboot pays your VAT on any purchase. Welcome back with escalating gang violence and gen a Gen Z population seeking quick and easy money. Political scientist Dr. Indira Rampasad says there is a need for reform to the criminal justice system. Addressing the University of the West Indies Crime Symposium today, Dr. Rampasad said the government must bring robust legislation. She said that while there is legislation to help fight crime, there is inadequate enforcement. Having participated in the Professor R Selwyn Ryan report produced in 2014 on youth at risk, she said many issues are escalating today. However, the solutions remain the same. Police statistics show there were over 30,600 crimes between 2015 and 2022, buoyed by murder tolls of 605 in 2022 and 555 in 2023. Dr. Rampasad linked the drugs and arms trade to gang violence now plaguing this country. With drug money having an estimated value of U.S. $650 billion, she said the country must understand the attraction. The most common mode of transport in cocaine and Trinidad from South America for transshipment to Europe, Africa, Canada, and the United States are um, small fishing vessels known as pirogues. Other means are through pleasure boats and commercial aircraft. Marijuana destined at Trinidad come from other Caribbean islands, St. Vincent, Jamaica, via pirogues, loose cargo vessels, and parasitical 
sorry, parasitic devices attached to the hulls of the vessels. Dr. Rampasad says Gen Z culture produces entitled, uncaring, and selfish youths. She says even in Newry, some students are not reading or watching television and are unaware of current affairs or what to do for exams. Instead, they spend most of their time on their phones, where some are watching pornography. Let's hand you over now to Jasmine Marie to see what's coming up in sport. Thank you very much, Ryan. Here's what's coming up. It's somewhat overdue, but the Trinidad and Tobago Marathon still promises to be a spectacle as some big names are contesting it. And a few young basketball stars have advanced their U.S. collegiate dreams. We'll tell you more after these. Available at Ferrero Optical. Did the holiday spending put a dent in your cash? Well, hear what? Top up your pocket in the Cash Splash promotion. Win over $200,000, including over 65000 in our weekly draws. Well, hear what to do. Grab any cool, cool, turbo energy drink, Fruta, Cool Kids, Viva, or Oasis Water. Then visit Facebook or Instagram at Cold Cold Caribbean or Fruta Fruit Juice Official for more details. Let's top up your pocket with the Cash Splash promotion. Tell us about vitamin D3. Why is it important for the human body? So it's important for brain health, bone health and strength, muscle health and strength. It's important for your immune system. It's important really for overall health. Dr. McCullen, what makes uh, vitamin XL D3 so superior to the other vitamin D3s out there? The form. So vitamin XL D3 is the most absorbable form. And then it's the right dose. Wow. Ahad Haya Limited. We provide the widest variety of Islamic clothing for men, women and children as well. Tactical wear. Shop for the newest designs of thobes, tactical gears, kaftans, abayas, scarf pins, exotic jewelry, exquisite atar perfumes, prayer mats, and much more. Located at Akbar Road, Charlieville. Opened 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday to Saturdays and 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sundays. Open every day till E. Ahad Haya Limited. Consistently giving you value for your money. At CW Interiors, find the widest selection of waterproof flooring at the most affordable prices. Choose the perfect floors with the strongest wear layer and a solid, rigid core. Installed and worry-free, top trending and satisfaction assured. Take the right steps to innovative flooring. CW Interiors, making quality affordable. Did the holiday spending put a dent in your cash? Well, hear what? Top up your pocket in the Cash Splash promotion. Win over $200,000, including over 65000 in our weekly draws. Well, hear what to do. Grab any cool, cool, turbo energy drink, Fruta, Cool Kids, Viva, or Oasis Water. Then visit Facebook or Instagram at Cold Cold Caribbean or Fruta Fruit Juice Official for more details. Let's top up your pocket with the Cash Splash promotion. Chic Leisha Limited, the leading manufacturers of vermicelli. Now available pre-cut in parts and on parts in convenient package sizes. Whatever your needs, trust Chic Leisha Limited for quality products. Chic Leisha Limited, making your life easier. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. Lotus brings you quality ingredients to help your culinary adventures. Lotus all-purpose flour for all your baking needs. Lotus baker's flour for breads, pizzas, roti and pows. Lotus cake flour for lighter cakes, muffins, biscuits, and pastries. Lotus whole wheat flour for the health conscious wanting more fiber. Lotus cassava and wheat flour, an exceptional blend of natural cassava and wheat flour adding a mild flavor to your baked goods. Create your good food moments today. Lotus, the confidence to create. The 2024 dry season is upon us and with that expectation, harsh dry conditions and in the face of rising global temperatures, we must all do our part to conserve our water use. 
At the Water and Sewerage Authority, we applaud the efforts made by citizens in 2023 to conserve water and value every drop. How can you get involved? By employing simple water conservation techniques at home. Here are some tips. Close the tap when brushing your teeth and washing dishes. Use a bucket instead of a hose when washing your vehicles and driveways. Repair leaks in toilets and overflowing water tanks. Use your washing machine for full loads only. Also, use the value every drop hashtag in your social media posts showing how you conserve our precious resource. Join the movement as we value every drop. Welcome back. Some good news to start things off. Trinidad and Tobago booked a spot in the semifinals of the Indoor Pan American Hockey Cup this afternoon, defeating Guyana in the penultimate match of the round robin phase of the competition. The Calypso Stickman got a double from Akim Toussaint to open proceedings and a double from Jordan Reynolds to cap things off a 5 3 win over Guyana. TNT ends round robin play tonight against Argentina from 8 15. First innings hero Amir Jangu is once again leading a Trinidad and Tobago Red Force fight back in their round five clash with Barbados Pride in the CWI 4-day championship. They too started with Barbados on 99 for four in their first innings reply. They got 72 from Jonathan Drakes and further good contributions of 34 each by Kevin Wickham and Jason Holder and 40 from Shane Darwich. Barbados Pride reached 279 all out for a lead of 107 runs. TNT's second innings has so far been carried by Keon Otley, who made 39 at the top and Jangu who is unbeaten on 30 at the close of day two. TNT will resume on 100 for the loss of three wickets trailing by just seven runs. Meanwhile the domestic Premier Division 1 title race will be decided this week weekend beginning tomorrow. Current leaders or league leaders, that is, Central Sports will play away to PowerJet at Pinal and the title chasers who are currently second on the standings March and Patriots will host Victoria Sports Club. The Trinidad and Tobago Red Force Divas got a nervy win today in the CWI Women's T20 Blaze. Shalini Samaru's 3 for 14 slowed the Windward Islands down considerably after TNT won the toss. Karishma Ramharak, she claimed 1 for 14, and the Windwards made 81 all out from 20 overs. It was a shaky chase from ball one as the Divas lost Chanel Sao, LBW for a duck, but they and then they lost seven more wickets along the way, but a steadying knock of 43 from Janaba Joseph guided them to 84 for 8 and a two-wicket win. Congratulations to them. Two wins on the trot now. Trinidad and Tobago's 68-member team headed to the Carifta Games is putting in the work ahead of the Easter weekend invasion of Grenada. And while the team will possess a number of returning champions, the medalists and medalists, rather, coaches are tipping a few new names to shine. The Hazley Crawford Stadium has been ground zero in Trinidad and Tobago's impending 2024 Carifta Games excursion. Everywhere one looked on Wednesday, these young athletes were fine-tuning form and technique, readying to take Grenada by storm from March 29th to April 1st. This group is a very good group. It's better than we had last year, and I think they're going to do very, very well. Coaches like Kelvin Nanku and Michelle Penny are excited by this year's bunch of 68 athletes. Penny has an obvious belief in those in the field and jump events in particular. But could this be one of the games where we continue to show uh, you know, that potential in those particular events? I think it can be. We have showed um, over the last few years, the jumpers that is, and some of the, the throwers, that we are quite capable of, of, being, uh, of ranking uh, among the, the, top, the top, uh, sorry, top athletes in the, in the region. Nanku will tune up all relay teams, and his experience and keen eye allows him to make a bold prediction. I will tell you this, I don't think we'll lose the under 20 relay, boys and girls. If they go the way I think they can go, and I've seen them go along that road, I think we're going to win many more medals than people anticipate. Meanwhile, if Nanku's forecast is to be believed, several parents of Tobago's Carifta team members will have front row seats courtesy the THA. Since we took that decision, the numbers have been steadily growing. So we took eight parents to Jamaica. We took 10 to the Bahamas last year. And this year, we are taking 14 to Grenada. 
14 lucky parents getting to see those athletes perform up close and personal. Meanwhile, the 42nd edition of the Trinidad and Tobago International Marathon runs off this weekend as well, and race chairman Diane Henderson expects a smooth, safe, and exciting event. Hundreds of runners are ready to hit the road to battle for top honors and over $150,000 in cash and prizes. The defending champion is Jason Sayers, who is back to defend his title, while other international invitees include Jose Diaz of Colombia and Kenya's Alex Akesa. The marathon starts at Whitehall, opposite Whitehall in the Queen's Park, Savannah, and um, finishes right at the same, par same place. It is a loop course out and back, goes down around the Savannah, down Dundonald, uh, Richmond, Independence Square, St. Vincent Street, South Key, and goes on to the Priority Bus Route, straight up to Dinsley, traffic lights. A couple hundred meters after that, they turn and they come back the same route coming up Abercrombie Street, back to the Savannah. Interesting route indeed from north to east. Now the race will get going from 4.30 a.m. on Sunday morning with the half marathon starting at 5 a.m. at the midpoint in Dinsley Junction, Takarigua. The 5K though will happen in the capital on Saturday from 4 p.m. Go out and support the runners. The Trinidad and Tobago Secondary Schools Basketball National Championships tipped off today at the Maloney Indoor Sporting Complex. In the under-15 girls semi-final, East Mukarapo's full court press was unmatched, turning defense into offense with ease against Faisabad secondary in a 23-11 result. In the only title match of the day, Fatima College retained their boys under 15 title when they defeated Trinity College East 46-33. Finals MVP Idris Martin top scored for Fatima with 20 points and in the bronze medal match, Scarborough secondary forged a 44-39 win over Shagornas North secondary. Nationals will continue tomorrow from 9 a.m. A few lucky student athletes are expected to get their shot at the North American Collegiate Basketball System later this year. That's after the under-19 women from Spartans TT, East Mokorapo Secondary and 500 Hawks Basketball Academy impressed last weekend. Most visitors to our shores spend their vacation taking in the three S's, but coach Kirk McLean of Toronto-based CN Sports is using his first experience in TNT to scout talent. I spoke to Coach Garvin to set up something while I'm here to see how the girls are doing, see the, to see how they play, what experience they have, and how I could help them get to the next level. McLean says he spotted a few gems during his inaugural visit. There is a few of them that has a lot of potential, a uh, little nicks and knacks to get better, but I think with a few more practices, maybe a year of basketball with proper coaching, they will get to the next level, Division I, uh, NAIA, or our university. For the past decade, 19 student athletes have benefited from the association. And that trend may be set to continue. So far, we have a high level of competition. Some of the best under 19 players in the country. We saw um, Vanessa Serret on the winning team. I think they win about three of the consecutive of the, of the scrimmages. We also have Ty, Ty, Ty which is um, Ty Warwick. Right, and a number of players, we have some, some under six, some six footers also. So it have a few perspectives. McLean also watched some basketball at the Maloney Indoor Sport Facility and caught up with ballers at Mikurapo East Secondary before heading back to Canada to be followed by some of the players scouted this weekend in July. Joe Van Ravello, CNC3 Sport. <laughs> Football news now as the Trinidad and Tobago senior men's football team zeroes in on a March 23rd play-in against Canada to potentially qualify for the 2024 Copa America tournament. A lot will rest on the shoulders of in-form forward Levi Garcia. Having missed most of TNT's Nations League campaign due to injury, Garcia is back in the red, white and black for the crucial encounter against Canada and eager to make his impact. Uh, usually, you know, I just start from now, I just start picturing myself is either scoring, either celebrating, um, doing nothing new, and uh, only stuff that I know I can do. So it's basically I start preparing my mind from now for 90 plus minutes, um, fighting for every ball, you know, start seeing myself winning tackles, uh, winning, winning duels, winning everything, and trying my best to get a win. Angus Eve's squad had its first training session on Monday. TNT will tackle Canada from 4 p.m. on Saturday afternoon at the Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Texas. A surface-to-air scud features in tonight's Sport High. Israel drew first blood in their Euro qualifier, 
But Iceland came right back with artillery of their own. Albert Goodmanson had the beating of their last line of defense. Yes, a projectile the keeper had no chance against. And that earns tonight's CSC3. Sports Eye. Thank you so much, Chassis. Appreciate it. Let's no head to a break. We'll be right back. Introducing Pentax Water Pumps. With state-of-the-art Italian engineering and over 34 years of manufacturing experience, Pentax Pumps are the epitome of quality and reliability. Rest easy with our new and improved three-year warranty and after-sale support, ensuring your satisfaction. Choose Pentax Pumps for unrivaled reputation and outstanding performance. Where there's water, there's Pentax. Recession have you down? Don't lose hope. Head on down to Tire Clinic for the recession deals. That should fake savings with our road hazard warranty on download to meet one Falcon Tires. Available at Tire Clinic, Cuba, Chaguanas, and Pleasance Park. Tire Clinic, a tire for every need. Call 636-8973 or 636-2958. Only Biostrath gives your body more than 60 of the essential nutrients it needs every day in a product that's 100% natural for stronger immunity, enhanced focus, increased energy, and stamina. Biostrath. Get what you need naturally. Cancer, whether you have it or your doctors are looking for it, only a PET scan can give the critical details. First world countries now use PET scans instead of CT scans. Get the right scan. Get a PET scan. Call us for a free consultation. Introducing Pentax Water Pumps. With state-of-the-art Italian engineering and over 34 years of manufacturing experience, Pentax Pumps are the epitome of quality and reliability. Rest easy with our new and improved three-year warranty and after-sale support, ensuring your satisfaction. Choose Pentax Pumps for unrivaled reputation and outstanding performance. Where there's water, there's Pentax. Step out in trendy eyewear. Two complete pairs of single vision eyewear for $5.95. Upgrade to designer frames with progressive transition lenses for $15.99 or buy focus and transition lenses for $12.99. Stylish eye care that won't break the bank. Visit us at Seaview Optical. Plumbing problems? Don't guess. Call Plumbing Solutions at 628-4646. Proud to be serving Trinidad and Tobago for over 20 years. We do it all. Maintenance and repairs, new construction, sewer lines, inspection, drain cleaning, leak detection. We are licensed and insured. So call Plumbing Solutions at 628-4646. Coming up, the world's finest cocoa comes from the Caribbean and the awards are piling up. Caribbean Airlines welcomes you home. Learn more about Republic Bank's Power to Make a Difference program and regional ties deepen as Barbados networks in Trinidad and Tobago. All this and more on Caribbean Passport TV, CNC3, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Chicle Show Limited, the Caribbean's largest manufacturers of plain and printed paper bags. Leaders in plastic bags, vermicelli, split piece powder, and greaseproof paper. Ideal for doubles, french fries, and sandwiches. Supplying stores nationwide. For quality products, trust Chicle Show Limited. 665-3336. I'm here with John Walsh. You guys may know him from America's most wonderful. So, John, tell me, how has the addition of Omega XL to your daily routine affected your overall lifestyle? Incredibly. I was very skeptical. I catch bad guys for a living. I've had two fractured skulls, two broken jaws, eight concussions, eight broken noses. So I'm always searching for something to mediate that pain. If you're living with joint or muscle pain caused by inflammation, try Omega XL and see the difference it can make in your life. We're going to do this together.
Independence Day every year since 2012, the world celebrates something special the uniqueness of the 21st chromosome that causes Down syndrome. Answering the calls by many advocacy groups, including the Down Syndrome Family Network, for more awareness and inclusion, scores of people rocked their socks for the cause, but why colorful socks? The idea was created because chromosomes are actually shaped like socks. Well, CSU3 News caught up with some people who told us why they wanted to help raise awareness. I find today everybody's supposed to be living in one love and you know, don't discri discriminate no one, right? Because sometimes you don't know the situation some people has been. It is important because everybody should be treated the same. Everybody should get the same respect as the same as those with disabilities, I find. Just love and care for one another. To me, it's just to sh sh share a little light on the, um, on that little community and for just um spread awareness. The little things matter. I think that it's important for us to educate. It's important for us to create awareness. And that way we will discriminate less. We will curb and we will fight and we will cut discrimination. A memorandum of understanding has been signed between Mustard Seed Communities Jamaica and Haiti Children to provide accommodation for 59 Haitian children as well as 13 caregivers from Haiti. The children and caregivers are expected to arrive in Jamaica today. The arrangement is initially for two years and funding will be provided by Haiti Children's various established donors. Executive Director of Mustard Seed Communities International said, following a series of meetings with government agencies, it was granted permission for the children to enter Jamaica legally and to get the necessary care in a safe environment. According to a U.S. diplomat, the United Nations Security Council could vote this week on the U.S. resolution on Gaza. The resolution calls for an immediate and sustained ceasefire, along with the release of all remaining hostages. On Wednesday, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Israel has the right to defend itself, but protecting civilians and getting them humanitarian aid also needs to be a focus. Even if the resolution passes, Israel and Hamas still have to work out their own terms of that ceasefire. Those negotiations are ongoing. Well, this evening, nearly two billion Muslims around the world are coming together to break fast in what is called iftar. That's right. But what exactly is iftar and why is it so important to Muslims? Matthew Chin speaks to an Imam Jamal Sukur for this report. Ramadan Reminder, brought to you by Sheikh Leisha Limited. At the break of dawn, Muslims all over the world begin their fast until the sun sets to break their fast. The first thing that we try to do is to eat a date and you know so that is what is is most recommended that that is the thing that brings the the best um, blessings it is you know plenty of blessings to eat a date to break the fast but if the date is not available any second best thing is a sip of water all right and if if that is not available then whatever is available to eat or drink can be used once it is you know permissible however imam sukor notes that if that must not be confused with the dinner that follows in which the poor and impoverished are invited to partake what usually occurs at the masjid is that after that then there's a dinner so everyone is invited for the dinner right so yes the, the poor and the impoverished and so on um, can be invited to that dinner really Okay, but the iftar itself is for those who are breaking the fast. So why is iftar so special? Iftar is really a, a very special time. It is an opportunity for immense blessings. And uh, it is a time that we believe th that uh, whatever is prayed for at that time is granted, you know, and it is not refused. So it is a, it is a great opportunity to speak to your Lord and to ask for, you know, that thing that you desire. Matthew Chin, CNC3 News. Ramadan Reminder, brought to you by Sheik Leisha Limited. Learning so much from this segment, it's time to recap our headlines tonight. The police commissioner confirms self-professed spy Pastor Ian Brown is no longer a special reserve police officer. The DNA results are still pending on skeletal remains on earth from Matura home in Valsane. The TNT Red Force and the Barbados Pride are evenly poised, heading into day three of their CWI Championship clash at the Queen's Park Oval. Walk with the water and sunscreen because tomorrow's forecast to be yet another hot day. 
As we leave you tonight, let's remind you to stay connected with us on our social media platforms. That's right, there you'll find tonight's stories, the latest updates, and exclusive content. And don't forget to pick up a copy of the Guardian newspaper. Guys, we, we heard what Bavita and I did in our two to three months vacation after SA. What did you guys do, Clay? I will. Oh, what did I do? You know, I <laughs> that was don't me. Remember. That was actually me on air. Jassy, I really didn't I spent remember. a lot of time out on the school field playing yeah, cricket, playing football, a lot of cricket. and learning some uh, handy stuff like gardening and uh, some home economics as well. At least Jassy and I can remember. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on the 7 o'clock news here on CNC3. I'm Ryan Beachu. I'm Pavita Gopolchan. I am Jassy Marie. And I'm Kalani Sain. Have a good night.